so when you have completed buying your hosting plan this screen will come thank you for choosing host data and now click on go to control panel as you can see the host cater control panel is opening so this is the control panel it is I have bought it for only one month this multi-domain Linux hosting as I have bought the baby plan so here it is so now when you go to your gmail so here it is this will contain all the necessary information that you need like this is the most important information you need the name server one and two because as you have bought a different domain name from a different website and hosting plan from a host creator so you will need to change the name servers on your domain website where you bought the domain name so this is the now this will be the third step that is changing this connecting the hosting account with your domain account so let's do it okay so let's go to godaddy okay <coughs> now we are required to sign in to our godaddy account so let's do it Can sign in It is taking some time and here it is it is our domain that we have bought no we don't want this so click on domain this is our domain and click on manage here it is immediate access this is the cpanel this will be your cpanel click on it okay hosting provider okay so our website has not been online yet Here it is my color and before i do this let's see the control panel of hosting account okay so this is the home screen of cpanel so you will get the username and password for the cpanel in this section managing your website and the link to go to the cpanel so once you do it login okay no no thanks now as you have logged in now let's go to the third step of creating a website that is connecting your domain with your hosting account so we will need this to name server go to godaddy okay and here let's go back and no here it is click on domain and now click on manage dns when you click on manage dns okay Click on settings and here you can see name servers. Change this name servers to that given by GoDaddy. Custom and add name servers. Now these are the two name servers that host creator has given you. Save this and copy paste and 
click OK. Now click on save and now wait for 10 to 15 minutes before you before your name server changes to that you have customized that is your host data name servers wait for 10 minutes then we will continue the process that is the fourth step that is installing wordpress <coughs> that is installing wordpress from uh, cpanel so let's wait for 10 minutes and then we will continue okay so once your name server has been successfully changed to that given by host creator this message will be shown when you type your website name that this website is under construction so now we need to proceed to the fourth step that is installing wordpress from cpanel and to do that go to your control panel it is Go to your control panel and search for software ACS. It is software, whatever software ACS it is in the software and services section. Click on it, and here you can see many softwares are available to be installed, but we need WordPress. Click on WordPress and click on install. Now here it is. It's our website. Please undo it keep this in directory section blank otherwise the wordpress will be installed in whatever http incolorant.com slash in whatever you give if you give my slash my it will be installed in the my part so keep this blank site name i colorant and no information everywhere so admin okay i will keep the password for now but you change this to your custom password let's copy it admin okay okay in the advanced options you don't need to change any of this so and click on you can put your email id if you want that when wordpress will be installed uh, the information will send will be sent to your email but you can leave it blank and click on install it will take less than a minute and it has been installed now here it is our website okay okay and wordpress is the login page admin and password is this login and it has been logged in and when do you okay this is showing under construction color and, and wordpress okay as you can see this has been refreshed and wordpress has been installed on your uh, website so now the fourth step is complete that is installing wordpress on your website now let's go to the fifth step that is changing the themes and the further steps that is installing important plugins so let's get on with it 